Hi folks, thanks for joining us in the Radio Shack today. A few weeks ago on the Mount Evelyn DX Report blog, I had a picture of some of the gear in the shack here. And one of the comments that came back was about the antenna coupler, which is a nice big uh, unit here, made by Tokyo High Power Labs. And uh, it's no longer available. In fact, it's one of their very early products. Uh, and uh, I've had it for many years now. So I thought we'd uh, just take the cover off and have a bit of a look inside. So here's the circuit diagram for the HC500A. And basically what we're trying to do is match the impedance of the uh, output of the transceiver uh, or the receiver, uh, which these days in modern transceivers and receivers is 50 ohms, to the impedance of the antenna. And of course, the depending on what sort of antenna it is and what sort of environment it, it is in, what sort of shape it is, how high it is, um, whether it's close to other objects, uh, when it's in the air, the impedance of the antenna could be anything. So the role of the antenna coupler is to uh, match that impedance with the antenna to the receiver or the transceiver. So here's our two variable capacitors, VC1, VC2 in this case, and then the coils, the main coil there with uh, 3.5 down to uh, 28 megahertz and the additional coil with it we'll see in uh, when we open up the lid uh, is for the 160 meter band so it's a very simple diagram it works uh, really really well okay this is what it looks like with the cover off we've got two big tuning capacitors here variable capacitors uh, they are very very smooth there's not a hint of uh, roughness at all with any of the, with these capacitors. They just really sm um, smooth operation on those beautiful units there. And then of course there's the main coil there with taps on it for 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. And then there's the additional coil there that we saw on the circuit diagram for 160 meters coils are made out of a ceramic material uh, nice big heavy wire across there and in the front there's the band switch going from 160 80 40 20 15 and 10 meters and of course this unit was made before the extra amateur bands uh, came online so this unit's probably about uh, made in the 19 middle of the 1970s I would think and has never given me a scrap of uh, a worry at all. And here's a closer look at the front panel. And if we turn it around, you've got the uh, Connection to the antenna, connection to the transceiver or the receiver, a uh, ground point there to attach a ground wire, and uh, uh, another point, a non coax uh, point to allow you to connect a long wire or some other antenna. Thank you. 